Halogens are the elements in group 7, that is with 7 electrons in its outer shell. It consists of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. The term halogen means salt producing. The group 7 elements are called this because when they react with metals, they form a range of salts like sodium chloride or potassium iodide. The halogens are non-metals and they form diatomic molecules such as Cl2. Now let's look at the physical state of the elements at room temperature. Fluorine is a gas. Chlorine is a gas too. Bromine is a liquid while iodine and astatine are solids. Moving on, we'll now see the colors of these halogens. This is important since the color of the halogen often tested in your examination. Fluorine is yellow. Chlorine is green. Bromine is red brown. Iodine is a grey solid but as a gas it is purple and acetine is black. There are a few more properties of the halogens. As you go down the group, the melting and boiling point will increase as the strength of the intermolecular forces will increase with size. All halogens are poor conductors of heat and electricity and the reactivity decreases as you go down. When hydrogen reacts with the halogens, the products would be a hydrogen halide like hydrogen chloride or hydrogen bromide and an example equation would be hydrogen plus bromine air arrow to hydrogen bromide. A little bit more info on hydrogen halides. They are acidic poisonous gases and are covalently bonded. Hydrogen halides are soluble in water and they react with it to form acidic solutions. For example, if hydrogen chloride is dissolved in water, it forms hydrochloric acid. We discussed about alkali metals in the previous video. So when halogens react with alkali metals, they form salts. For example, when the alkali metal sodium reacts with the halogen chlorine, we get the halide salt sodium chloride, which is an ionic solid. Now we are going to take a look at displacement reactions between a halogen solution and a solution with halide ions. Earlier I mentioned that the reactivity of halogens decreases as you go down the group. So when a more reactive halogen is added to a solution of less reactive halide, the halide is displaced to form a halogen. A halogen's reactivity decreases down the group. This is because when the size of the atom increases, then as the number of shell increases, adding an extra electron to the outer shell becomes less easy due to a smaller attraction force from the nucleus. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.